Okay, let's go into the finished bathroom. Ta-da! Oh, here we are in the bathroom. Ready? Here we go. Woo-hoo. And let there be light. Here it is. The whole thing in all its glory, all its big mirror. And, and its cupboards and radiators and showers. Of course, it's difficult. You can't really get a sense of it on these cameras and videos. It does. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. I, I don't know what it looks like on video. It never looks as good as as real, we need like a wide angled lens, but here it is finished. So, this used to be the uh, old uh, chimney breast, which has all been taken out. We were able to take the chimney breast out quite easily because years ago the chimney stack above was removed when they extended this uh, room. The room used to end there and that's been extended. So, when they did that extension, they took out the chimney stack. So then taking out this chimney breast was relatively straightforward because we didn't have to support anything above it. Normally you've got the chimney stack sitting above and you have to put a steel beam in, obviously to stop it falling down. But we didn't have to, so it was just a question of taking 400 bricks out one at a time. Horrible job, but done. So radiator underneath and then here's, here are the cupboards with some uh, frosted glass and there they are, I made those cupboard doors and I'm quite pleased, here they are. We've got some uh, soft closed cupboard doors, so uh, quite pleased with those, got all the stuff in them, uh, which is great. Um, yeah, radiators in. Then a uh, the shower, this is a Mackie shower. And I'm quite proud of the fact that that's uh, fitted pretty well. Uh, all glass, obviously, it's Mackey. So it's a good one is because it's thick glass and that means we don't have many support brackets everywhere. It's all fairly clean and sort of minimalist with a stone shower tray and a good shower with a really nice uh, sort of drencher above. It gives good power. I'm pleased with that. Uh, and then above we've got the extractor and the light. That was already there so I just left it. And then I've put in four lights, so I've added that spotlight and then a spotlight above the bath and then I also added a spotlight above the sink and a spotlight above the toilet, uh, just so it gives a bit of accent uh, to the porcelain there and I think it works well. Uh, so that's all the showers in and it's all plumbed underneath the floor and the baths in, this took four of us to get this up the stairs, this is a cast iron bath and uh, it may look quite small, it's probably, it is one of the smaller ones, thank heaven, because four of us, and we only just got it up the stairs. So, uh, I'm pretty pleased that that's all plumbed in, and the waste joins in with the shower waste under the floor, so it's two going into one waste, which works well. Uh, that's a nice cast iron bath, and then we've got the new sink. I'm pleased with the sink, because we were going to use the original sink, but then I cracked it during the building work, so we've got a very flush new sink with these sort of glass legs, very posh. So it's actually worked out quite well, we've got a nice flush new sink. Uh, and then above we've got a mirror, shaver socket, and I'm pleased I built in these lights uh, with touch, very light touch, Oops, there you go. Very light touch for the wall lights uh, around the mirror. So there's a normal light above, and then you can add these, and just a very light touch. And on, on off they go, so uh, safe electrically. Uh, and then the original toilet uh, is back in. We've got uh, marble tiles all the way around, uh, good quality marble tiles, complete with that tiling. Uh, I think it looks really good. And then it's a whole uh, brand new uh, floor. I, I did original floorboards to, in keeping with the rest of the house. I could have put in a different floor. But I wanted to, you know, to keep the Victorian style. Uh, I think that's worked well. Uh, and then this is a feature wall, obviously, with the, uh, ooh, the pretty wallpaper, big mirror, and then there's skirting boards there and skirting boards on this wall, uh, which is just plain along with Audrey Hepburn. So uh, yeah, if you remember, there used to be pipes going down here. Then there was a huge 
chimney breast here and there were pipes coming down in the middle of the room there and a massive um, airing cupboard there and then a pokey little shower tucked away in there and then a huge bath here and the whole thing was a bit of a mess and really narrow because it used to come out to about here the chimney breast and the airing cupboard came out to ooh, about there beyond the line of the window huge great airing cupboard and it made the room look really small even though it's a big room so I'm glad all the, all the uh, main pipe work is now behind here it's all boxed in behind there next to the cupboard so the other side of that cupboard is all the pipe work runs down and then goes under the floor uh, why has it taken four months well it was a massive job but the main thing was that the actual room itself, the structure of the room wasn't good. When I stripped everything off and took the tiles and everything, as I kind of suspected, this being an extension, this half of the room, the whole thing hadn't been well built. It'd be shoddy workmanship, to be quite honest. And, uh, and it had settled. Basically, it had dropped by about an inch and a half, the whole thing. So there were huge cracks in the wall. The floor suddenly dropped by an inch and a half. And there were huge cracks over here. And so I had to mend all that and get it safe. And that's why we ended up putting a new floor in because all this floor had to come up for me to level it. And so that's been uh, you know, a massive job. And that's, uh, and that's why it took so long. There should be some pictures on here somewhere showing um, the stages and you know what it looked like in the middle, which is terrible. So here's the uh, chimney breast half being taken down for the right job ceiling supported uh, and then this is after the chimney breast is down and starting to mend the cracks in the wall and then having to take the whole floor up uh, and fill in a huge skip the whole skip and there's a chimney breast there's one of the big cracks in the wall that went you know terrible there's me filling the uh, skip halfway through absolutely horrible job uh, Chimney breast down and starting to put the plumbing in the side of that gap. And the new floor down, beginning to get there. And then building the uh, cupboards and making the frame for the plumbing. And then it's all boxed in, ready for plastering. Uh, yeah, a bit of a roll, just a roll of blind, but just left the original window in. Um, and uh, all good. Uh, the only thing we're missing, we're still waiting for a shelf. I'm annoyed. They promised it us for yesterday, because it's now, was it the 23rd? It's coming up to Christmas and we, I really wanted to get it completely finished for Christmas and as, as has happened many times, the bathroom supplies let us down. I'm sorry, but the bathroom supply people are rubbish. I mean, they really are. The number of things that arrive without instructions or bits missing or whatever, uh, it's countless. And anyway, they faithfully promised us the shelf, glass shelf we're putting in there uh, for uh, two days ago and now they're saying it won't come till like, mid-January or something. So a bit, a bit miffed. Anyway, it's all done apart from that. Problems, the only real thing I had a problem with was the plumbing here for the sink. Now, there is hidden plumbing uh, behind the wall, which goes up to feed the taps on the sink. Uh, and, but when I connected it all up, it leaked. Obviously, one of my connections somewhere in the wall there is bad. I just, I just didn't make the connection properly. And, of course, it was only when the tiles were up and so on that I found out it leaked. So the only way of doing it properly would be to smash all the tiles, dig the plumbing back out of the wall and do the whole thing again and then retire it. And, which obviously I wasn't that keen on. So what I've done is I've just run these chrome pipes up externally. And to be honest, if you didn't know they weren't supposed to be there, you know, they actually add something, I think, a bit rather than look like a bit of a bodge. So I'm quite happy with that. You know, it looks like they're supposed to be there from the start. That was the only thing, they shouldn't be there. It should maybe it'll be a bit cleaner lines about them, but that's, that's it. That's the only major problem I've had. These are quite good, these taps. I don't realize that they're, they're a different type of tap. They, they don't have, uh, you don't have to close them down like old taps. They're just like a valve. You just open it and close it. There's no pressure. You don't have to tighten it onto a washer. The only weird thing about these taps is they operate in reverse direction. So what you know that's opening and that's closing, which is actually the opposite way. Um, which is even more weird because these are the matching taps for the bath, and they do open in the correct direction and close in the correct direction. So you know I'm a bit puzzled. But anyway, there we go. But 
They are the, I didn't realize the taps have changed, thank heaven, from the old taps with the washer underneath. It's like a valve and it's a very light operation, which is really good. Yeah, the toilet's in the same position, so I didn't have to uh, get rid of, uh, to move the position of the waste pipe, which is great because it's so massive, but I had to put a new waste pipe in for the sink and for the shower and the bath, but they're much smaller diameter. Yeah, so uh, there, it's all done, and I'm, I'm pretty, very pleased with it, yeah. So we've got the built-in cupboards and the uh, radiator, we've got all the lights, we've got the wallpaper, new, oh dear, it's a bit bright, that new central hanging light, obviously. The whole thing was plastered, that's the only thing I didn't do. The only thing I didn't do of the whole job was plaster. I got everything ready to plaster and so on, but I didn't do the actual plastering, because I've tried that in the past and made a complete mess. And I didn't want to spend four months and end up with something that looked a mess. So I got the plaster in, he was a great guy. He came in, did the whole plastering in a weekend. And so we got the whole room is completely replastered, the ceiling, the walls, uh, every, everything has been totally replastered. Um, and for that I'm very grateful. Apart from that, I've done everything. Uh, touch wood, no leaks, the shower works really well, good pressure. We, we have a pressurised water system in this house. So that means you get really good pressure out of the shower, which is really good. Yeah, uh, yeah, so there you go, all done, all dusted, and I am a very happy bunny. Four months, seven days a week. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a hard job, and I, my target was to finish before Christmas. It's now the 23rd of December, and I've just finished. I mean, literally this morning I've finished. Uh, putting the soft clothes on the cupboards. Yeah, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. All that effort. I think it looks really good. But uh, that's that's what I can actually get on with doing my bikes now, and not uh, you know, I've been doing rubbishy DIY and horrible black mortar and dust and moving bricks and digging up floorboards and horrible mess for four months. And it's great to have it all nice and clean now. Christine's decided to leave it virtually white, as you can see. And that's fine. It's a nice, clean and bright bathroom. There we go. Job done.